you today. Please welcome Professor Hatlelkom for the interview. Thank you for taking your time. You're honored. So we're going to be uh, going to be a short interview, three questions. So you were once president of FSM. Can you tell us of the many hardships you have, or at least one, and tell us how you handled one of those hardships? As you know, the, okay, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. The presidency is not an easy job. You know, you wake up in the morning, you wonder what's going to hit you in the face. <laughs> and if it's nothing, then you go to sleep praying that, Thank God that nothing hit you in the face. It's hard because issue comes up, especially hard issues. And some of these issues are really nothing issues, but the people make makes it hard. You know, I have many, I had many uh, issues that I tackled when I was president. Uh, one, in foreign affairs, uh, must, what country should we recognize? China, no. People's Republic of China, or Taiwan? No, that's a very hard one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, Taiwan at that time was more developed than China, and they were giving out more money. Yes, yes. But I decided that we should go by China, People's Republic of China because China is a member of the United Nations Security Council, and they had a vote on the Security Council. So if we present our request for termination of the trusteeship, they will help us. So I didn't go by the money. I go by what would help FSM. I think that's, that was a wise decision you made about going with China. So you, you're you a chief of Yurupik. Yeah. So as of now, can you tell us, you know, the major experiences, responsibilities of you being a chief and then when you were a president, you know, the... What yeah. Yeah. I became chief of Europe last year when my brother passed away. Yeah. And I've never been there. I haven't been to Europe for about 21 years. <laughs> I don't think people re would recognize me. They probably remember me as somebody with hair. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I would say that, you know, I enjoy being chief of Europe because I ended up inheriting about $2 million oh, that's... in trust fund. So I used that money. For example, the ship just went down to Outer Islands of Yap. I loaded up the ship with rice, uh, flowers, and sugar for those people in Europe. I mean, at least I feel mm. good Thank doing you. something you. for them. But when I was president, it was hard. Mm -hmm. If I need money, I have to go ask Congress. Uh -huh. And most of the time, Congress say, no, we won't give it to you. So that's one of the perks of being a chief, huh? Yeah. You need the money, they just, oh, here you go. <laughs> well, in Europe, the chief has the authority. He has the power. He control everything, mm. including the reef, fishing on the reef. And as a president, you are limited with power. Yeah, you you have to share your power with Congress, uh, with the states. Mm. So, uh, to those who's involved, you know, those young Micronesian like us here, see one who's in becoming involved or active in the functions of the c Congress. What would you advise them to do, or what would you like? Okay, my advice is this, and I, I mean it. When you guys finish school, you run for Congress. Mm. Remain active. 
and run for Congress, and if you win, you do something for FSL. That's where you're, you know, when you win, that beca what becomes your responsibility is to help FSL. Now, I often told my class, especially the girls, to run for a public office. So have they been running for a public office? No. Not yet? Why do you think the girls don't run for public office? I don't know. They're afraid if they run for public office, they win. They will not have boyfriends. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, you know, that's a public office. It should be concern for everybody, regardless of whether you're a girl, girl, you're a boy. You should at least serve in public office once in your lifetime. That's true. And the best place to serve is Congress. Well, if you don't have anything else to say, then uh, I think that concludes this interview. Oh, okay. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad it's a short interview. Yes, super. Thank you.